Welcome back, family. Glad to have you here. About to give you the most intriguing list in all of sports. Remember yesterday, Aaron Rodgers, he left the NFC, went to the AFC, left the Packers, and he went to the Jets. But that has us thinking. The AFC and the quarterbacks in that conference, oh, it is stacked. Let's talk about them. Let's rank them some, from one all the way to five. Well, at one, it's very simple. Y'all know this at home as you play along. Patrick Mahomes, he's the best quarterback in the AFC. It's very, very, very easy for me. At number two, Joe Burrow has now cemented himself clearly above the rest of the field as the second best quarterback in the AFC in my mind. At number three, this is where it starts to get a little dicey, but not for me. Josh Allen, he does the most. Think about him nearly leading his team in rushing while simultaneously throwing for 4,000 plus yards several of the last few seasons. Okay, at number four, this is where I insert the new York Jet, Aaron. Rodgers. He's the fourth best quarterback in the AFC to me. I am not sleeping on his two MVP seasons in the last three years. And rounding out the list, it has to be Lamar Jackson. If he plays when he plays, he's the second best winner since he entered the National Football League. Mahomes, Burrow, Allen, Rodgers, Jackson, top five quarterbacks in the AFC. But I want to come to the desk and ask you all, did I miss a name? Would you all have swapped any names? Where you at? Shady, Dave, good to see you. Joy Taylor, what y'all thinking? I mean, you know who you left off. Who? You left a couple people off. AFC? Who? Oh. Go ahead. I, I'm waiting for one person. Justin Herbert's going on my list. That's just me. Over who? Who you booting? Probably Lamar. Five? <laughs> when was the last time Lamar was healthy, guys? When was the last time he played a full season? It's two years ago, just for whatever that was worth. I'm I mean, just saying. His team went as far in the playoffs as Herbert's team, even though he didn't even play. Yeah, we can okay. do that. We can Where do that. We can do back who, I miss? who I miss? What playoffs did, did um, number four play in last year? He did not play. He didn't play. He didn't play in the playoffs. playoffs. He didn't play in the playoffs. He didn't. He didn't. Did he take his team to the playoffs? He didn't. So this is a. You booting Rodgers out? Of course he's not in. Uh, This is a projection list because Aaron Rodgers has not played a single game with the New York Jets. So this is projecting that he's going to be fourth best quarterback. So I'm going to match my list with what's what's happened, what happened last year, recently, last year, with projecting. So I'm I'm obviously putting Herbert above. Aaron Rodgers. I would keep Lamar there. Okay. I got to put Trevor Lawrence above Aaron Rodgers. Uh, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm keeping it real, put your space up last year. What do you got? And projecting forward, I got to put Deshaun Watson and two above Aaron Rodgers Ooh. in the AFC. Deshaun Watson? Yeah. Ooh, I... we're, we're, we're projecting. We're projecting, I'm, right? I'm, le- I'm, I'm leaving not... the chat. You ever had a chat and you leave it? He's I just, not, I just he's not playing. Shane's left the chat. Left the chat. Well, now we put Justin Sean... Herbert and, Aaron, and, and Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> We're higher than Aaron Rodgers in total yards per game, touchdown interception ratio, and passer rating last season. Okay, Herbert and Trevor don't bother me. Tua and Watson bother me a little bit more, though. Sure, fine. Fine. Okay. We'll put Aaron Rodgers above Tua and Deshaun Watson because we don't know if Deshaun Watson is going to be good this year, and we don't know how healthy he's going to be. But he's exactly. still not in the top five in the AFC. My, here's my thought, though, is I, I could just look at last year, which I can't fault someone for doing, but it's hard, Joy, for me to forget Aaron Rodgers has two MVP seasons in the is last few years. Is he getting years. O- younger or older? He's getting older, but that doesn't necessarily imply he's getting worse, given that we saw quarterbacks play well at this age recently. So, like, if I'm looking at their last three years, because if you just look at Herbert last year, Herbert didn't play great. Dave, what was it, 21 tugs, 10 picks? It, his numbers like, off the top were, of my head. I don't want to Herbert was 25 that. and 10. 25 <laughs> tugs, 10 picks. So, like, if you just look at last year, then I, I don't want to simply look that narrowly, Joy, to the point of, like, I can't ignore two MVP. Imagine this. Imagine if Josh Allen had two MVP seasons in the last three years. He would surely be at two. Imagine if Herbert had two MVP seasons in the last three years. He would be at two. I don't have a so, problem with Rodgers I mean, being on the no, list. I, I, like, I like what you're saying, because at first, like, when, I li- when I looked at the list, I was like, ah, I don't know. But then I like the great players are for two to three years, mm-hmm. right? I don't go for just one year. You know what I'm saying? Because you have a good year or a bad year. This happens. It's the NFL. It's the best of the best. So three years, that makes sense. When I look at Herbert, though, right, I, I think he's a phenomenal talent. Yep. But if you ask him what has he really done, other than the stats, like, I mean, he was the playoffs, right? Had a big lead, lost it, okay? Then we go to Trevor Lawrence, who I, I think we're... People, we love to overhype Trevor Lawrence because the real identity of that team is not him. It's the running game. They oh, run the fair. ball and they play good defense. That's how they play. That's how they win. That's how, that's how Doug Peterson runs his offense. Okay. So I can't put dumb players over Rodgers. Over the last three years, there's not been nobody better than Rodgers other than the, the obvious with oh. Mahomes and, and Josh, you know? Well, Burrow, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I can't do that. So for your point, I would give it to you, but we, the, the, the tour 
and Watson. That, we getting a little crazy with that one, though. We're projecting. Aaron Rodgers is not getting younger. He's getting older. He's moving to a new team, and he missed the playoffs with the team that he's been, he was with for 16 years. Yep. A, Long time. Uh, other than in Russ. a division with the Lions and the Bears and Kirk Cousins. Hey, but, but, but Russ and now he's and now he's jumped the, Lamar Jackson on that side. The show was probably I, I don't see. Side. I don't even know. I don't know that Rodgers ever gave up the rope of Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson was MVP in 19. Rodgers was MVP in 20 and 21. Okay. Rodgers got two MVPs since Lamar has his last MVP. Yeah. That for me is why Rodgers is still ahead. I just don't, Joy, I don't put as much weight as you do on last season. That's really where the tension lies is I look at Rodgers last season and say it was not great. But them two seasons before, I can't complete. I haven't forgotten about them already. Otherwise, I got to forget about Lamar's 2019 y'all, season. Y'all know how I like to make excuses, right? Rodgers played last season with a banged up. Here we go. He played Here last season go. with a banged he's up. So hurt. Hurt. I'm leaving the so chat again. I'm just saying. I'm leaving the chat again. I'm just saying. Oh, she's a Dolphins fan. Yeah, you know, she's just upset that he's in the division or something. But he played hurt last year. All right, so then he should. If he played hurt last year, then he should be. Great this year. Correct. He should be MVP I, level this I'm year. I'm not going to bet against him being very, very good. I don't Ooh. know. I can't say MVP. Wait. MVP I level. love it. I sure. love it. He's, he should play MVP level this season, and he, he should be great. So let's get to the next topic. Well, the next topic. And, 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 and he's playing. Play, I'm here, okay. too. Keep that and, same and energy. Keep that uh, energy uh, there. Okay. He's playing with better offensive weapons. Yep, yeah, he sure is. He matters. sure yeah. is. Well, then, Joy, All that. Let's, so let's, let's get to the question. Let's keep the bar where it is. It's very high for Aaron Rodgers. Is it Super Bowl or bust for Aaron Rodgers with the Jets? No, nah, if he wins a playoff game, it should be cool. I, know, I mean, I mean, <laughs> he's, he's MVP <laughs> level. He's MVP level. He's jumped Lamar Jackson in the AFC. He's jumped everyone else. All these young players who certainly won't get better in another year in the NFL and another offseason with their same team and same coaches and, and all that. So, I, I mean, honestly, they should feel very comfortable if he wins one playoff game. That was a huge, all of this was totally worth it at that. I sense sarcasm. I sense of course I'm being sarcastic. sarcastic. I'm cool with that. If, if Aaron Rodgers should be better this year. He's playing with better talent. He's playing with a better defense. He has young, eager receivers. He's going to have a great running game. He's going to have everything he needs to get to a Super Bowl. Yeah. Or can we please stop talking about this move because it's not that serious. I'm not getting – there's a reason we're not talking about Derek Carr moving. Yeah. There's a reason we're not talking about Jimmy Garoppolo moving. Because while we think those teams – They're not MVP. Be, they're not MVP players. Of course. Players. But while we think those teams will be better with them at quarterback, we don't have ridiculous expectations for them. Right? True. So – Again, either we should have Super Bowl level expectations for Aaron Rodgers, or he's on the level of Jimmy Garoppolo and a Derek Carr that it's not really that serious. Which is it? Isn't there a gap in between though, Joy? Isn't there like like <laughs> no, Derek right. Carr, no. Jimmy Garoppolo, Aaron Ro- like Aaron Rodgers? Jimmy Rogers, Garoppolo played in the Super Bowl more recently than Aaron Rodgers did. Thousand percent. But don't you think like if Aaron Rod? For me, I don't think it's Super Bowl or bust. Not not, not this year. It's not. I think it's win a playoff game or bust. I think if Aaron Rodgers doesn't win a playoff game, this then of course not. But Aaron, if Aaron Rodgers wins a playoff game, boy, just one, he's doing that something that's the quarterback standard. That's all done. he usually does. That should be the standard. Oh, but see, I, context matters, Joy. Like, okay, they call they call Green Bay title town. It's the I don't original, know why. I mean, they got four of them. They won the first two. Cute. Like, you know who has six? I mean. You know who else has six? Can we agree? Can you at least meet me on the baseline? New England and Pittsburgh, to answer your question. Thank you. Thank can you meet me on the baseline that Green Bay's expectations of success are a little bit higher than the New York Jets? And I swear to God, I'm not doing this to be mean, but I just want to point this out. You know how many times the New York Jets have won their division oh since the merger? Since the AFL and NFL became one league. Do you know how many times they've won their division? I'm going to say six. Twice! They've won their division two times. They won a Super Bowl in 1968, and they've won their division twice since. They've had a top 10 offense three times since the 80s. Their all-time leading passer is Joe Namath, Hall of Famer, NFL legend. Ryan Tannehill has more career passing yards than him. Like, that's the type of thing we're talking so about we're when we talk about the New York Jets. So we're grading on a curve. Absolutely. Yeah. But, but see, cool, he's well, going okay, to cool, one of the sorriest cool, cool. franchises cool. in so the then, AFC. So then, so then I can get with that because we just talked about um, we just talked about how impressive it is with Jimmy Butler is doing with, with, with like, the heat, yeah. undrafted players, although a right, great right. organization, lots of championships as well, but with, with less, lesser talent. So yes. Aaron Rodgers is going to a place that has a better roster, better overall roster and situation. He's getting back with Nathaniel Hackett. Yep. Like, he's set up for success right. with the Jets, yes. right? So what I'm confused about is, why 
or do we say all these positive things about the situation? But then as soon as I say, then we should have high expectations for the situation. It's like, wait a minute, it's the be, Jets. Because wait a minute. It's because it's because because this is, this is real life. This is for real. So winning Super Bowls is not easy to do. If you look at this, the, the, the NFL right now, how many Super Bowl starting quarterbacks are there right now? There's four. There's only four. As much as we talk about Super Bowl, it's like it's it's like you could just flip a coin and you want a championship. It's, it's hard. Already retired. Time out. That all up. Russell yeah. Wilson has one championship yep. in 11 years. Okay. Matthew Stafford, 14 years, yep. he has one. Yep. Rogers. Aaron Rodgers, 18 years, he has one. And the only one is Patrick Mahomes. So as, we, as much as I want to talk about this, he got to win a Super Bowl or that's it, or it's a bust. This is real football. It's hard. It's bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> <to go. laughs> so, like, I, I mean, for him to go to, to the Jets, who they never win, right, and they go to the playoffs, they might win a playoff game, like, that's a big deal. And then you add on to it. But to say he has to win a Super Bowl today, tomorrow. I don't think he has to win a Super Bowl this year. But it, let's, say, let's say he don't win a Super Bowl. I don't even, actually, I don't even think it's win a Super Bowl. Okay. I don't even think it's win a Super Bowl. Because it, it, that's so hard to do, right. win a Super Bowl. So I don't even think it's win a Super Bowl. But to me, I'm cool with that being the expectation, right? Like, okay. if they win a, a playoff game for the Jets, that's a massive improvement. Well, everyone wants to win a Super Bowl. Everyone wants to win a Super Bowl. Of course. Bowl. And, right. and you, you should be going into the season trying to win a Super Bowl. Okay. Like, that's the goal. Right. My thing is, I'm cool with the expectations being so low, but why do we got to keep talking about it like this is a massive move that's shifting the I mean, because it, it's, 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 it's a Hall of Fame quarterback. quarterback. If, if, if Josh that's Allen or, or Patrick Mahomes or guys or, or, or even Joe Burrow, they get traded, it's going to be a huge deal. Right, right. But even Joe they Burrow, can't even but win. Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes are much better players right now than Aaron Rodgers. That's right. all I'm saying. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying, like, but see, I just want to, I can't, I'm, and of course we're talking about it because it's Aaron Rodgers. I'm not saying it like that. Like, yeah. of course we're going to talk about Aaron Rodgers, and then moving is a big deal. But my, my, I guess where I'm getting hung up is, if he, it's such a big deal, why shouldn't the expectations be higher? Well, and I, I would say, I mean, wherever they were, the Jets were in this jumble of forgettable teams yesterday morning, and today they're part of the upper crust of the NFL. Yeah, that's like, true. they are on the yeah. short list. Whatever list, maybe not... They're one of the eight teams right, that I would right. put in. Hey, yeah. I mean, that's the top that's 25% of the NFL. They weren't there yesterday, and they're there today. I think because that's Because if, if you look at all the, the top teams right now, like, you can't even say, like, oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to win a championship. No, no, say, no, no. The I would only say about the Chiefs. Chiefs. Ooh, yeah, so, it's like, the Chiefs. so if, 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 the, if the Jets are in that group of potential capables, you know, capables yeah. might. Can I, can I ask you something, though? Ask me. If, if things hadn't gone so badly for Russell Wilson last year, do you think there would be less pause about it? Like, not pause, because we do think that they're going to be better. And I think the Jets are going to be significantly better. But do you think, is, is that giving you any pause? Because I think for me, that is an anxiety that is hanging over me, that we got so ahead of ourselves with how easily it was going to work with That's a really good Wilson. question. No, that is a good question. For me, it's fascinating. I've always considered Aaron Rodgers very, very, very good. Elite. Like, better yeah. than most. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've always said, and it's been a crazy thing, talent-wise, I think of... Peyton Manning, I think of Aaron Rodgers, exclusively talking Dan Marino, too, right? Dan, Dan Marino, Marino. Yeah. But not talking mental, because that's where Tom Brady, to me, is better than everybody. Not but right. exclusively talent, I view Aaron Rodgers yeah. as like a football deity. Yeah. Whereas Russell Wilson is very, very good. But, like, I just, I don't see how Rodgers can fail in totality. Like the, he's he's the elite of the elite. Yeah, I will see that. I yeah. can see how Rodgers can fail in year one, like he failed last year going 8-9. But, Joy, again, I played against Rodgers and got embarrassed by Rodgers in Philly, in Green Bay. I think it was 2014. We're down 30 to 6 at halftime. So I'm biased. Like, the man has embarrassed me. So I just can't see Rodgers failing in totality. This year, maybe. But, but he I does. But, no, one thing I will say, I push back on a lot of your stuff today, but I will say this. He does have to play well because he did not does. play well in Green Bay this year. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's looking at the rush, of not looking downfield, but not being last on time. Year, so it's it, lots yeah. of you saying it is accurate. It can't be yeah, far off. Come on. That's like it, true. If, if it's not you Super Bowl or bust, it's, it's real close. No, no, but that, no, that part, I'm pushing back on that because I just told you, it's four dudes that start right but there. But you know what's, what's fast? When we were, and it's like 14, I, 11, 15. You know, I have a thought. I have like, a thought. Bro. Don't you think because it's only four dudes, that's more reason why Rodgers should? Because it's so hard to. Since Rodgers, Mahomes, Russ, and Stafford are the only four, right? Okay. Doesn't that tell you that they're the only four that have that superpower? They're the only four that have that advantage. They're the only four that know what it takes. This is not a video game. This is this this is this is the elite of the elite. It's hard. You got injuries. You got all type of stuff that happens. You got coaching. You got you got you got adjustments. Like all that matters. And 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 granted, the, the quarterback is the main piece. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking that away. It's the main piece, but it, it's showing you from history 
that it's hard to win a championship. It's hard. It's a lot of greats to have it. A lot of greats. But your boy was lucky. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.